Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques. Also, sign up for our YouTube channel so that you get them delivered right to your inbox. Okay, uh, today we're going to take a look at switching row and columns. Uh, this is something that I always uh, did not understand until I looked up the exact detail and the help, and I thought this would be helpful for everyone out there. So, uh, switching rows and columns. So, when you make a chart in Excel, you probably notice that the uh, chart is uh, made up by Excel based on some criteria that you may not be aware of. Uh, sometimes when you create a chart, you'll have to go in and switch the rows or columns by hitting that button, uh, and it'll flip your data around. So. Uh, let's get into a little bit of the mechanics of why Excel is doing what it's doing. Okay, so uh, here we have some data. So I've got uh, 12 months of the year of sales data from uh, Mary, John, and Tom. Now, if I come in here and plot this, um, what I would probably expect is I want to see, I'm going to probably see every month of January, February, March, uh, and Mary, John, and Tom being a part of the legend. So I'm going to highlight that range. I'm going to go up to my insert menu. I'm going to go to the column chart, and I'm going to just pick a 2D clustered column chart. So let's take a look at that chart. Um, as we can see, kind of like what I thought, January, February, March, this is actually how I wanted my chart to appear. Uh, and then we've got Mary, John, and Tom being in the legend, so it looks like it's working the way I thought it would be. But let's go in and do a different kind of selection. Let's just do the first quarter, and so I'm going to highlight that range from A1 down to uh, D4. And go up to my insert ribbon. I'm going to go insert another 2D column chart. Let's do that one. And uh, lo and behold, let's see if we can get that into a good place so that you can see that on the video. Um, so what we have here is Excel has charted the data for the first quarter differently. Why is it doing it differently? I didn't change the way I had my data. Um, it's got Mary, John, and Tom on the bottom, and then each one of their respective months uh, comparative in there as well. So what's going on? Why is Excel doing this? Well, uh, anytime you're doing a chart, Excel is going to uh, make some decisions based on your data. Let's go back and take a look at the, uh, at the table here. So if it ultimately determines how many rows you have uh, versus how many columns do you have. So in this instance, when I plot the entire range, I've got more rows than columns. Therefore, it's going to put this on the horizontal axis, and these are going to be the categories in the legend. Now, anytime I get fewer uh, rows than columns, it's going to switch it around. So, uh, in this instance, um, actually, anytime you get to an equal number of rows, uh, to columns, it's going to switch it around and it's going to uh, group them differently. So, um, as you can see, so if I just do the first two months, we've got fewer rows. Then up here, it's going to put the, the Mary, John, and Tom on the horizontal axis. Let's go up to Insert Column, 2D Column Chart. So uh, look at that. So we've got Mary, John, and Tom on the horizontal axis. January and February being in the legend. Uh, let me go ahead and delete that, and if I go just past um, equal numbers of rows and columns, there are more rows now than there are columns, so January through April will be on the horizontal axis, Mary, John, and Tom will be in the legend. So let me insert one last chart so you can see, uh, and lo and behold, look at that, January, February, March, April. Uh, so anytime you are dealing with charts, you want to be aware of how the data is uh, being laid out. Now, um, if you highlighted all this data, you went up to Insert, Column, and you created the 2D column chart here. Uh, anytime you're ultimately doing that, uh, and you want it to be switched, so you actually did want to see Mary's performance, John's performance, and Tom's performance throughout all of the given months, just select your chart, go up to your Design Ribbon, then you have the Switch Row and Columns button in your data group. If you click on that, that will toggle. So you now see Mary, John, and Tom's data uh, grouped by month. So you can see them. If you hit Switch Rows and Columns back, it switches it back. So no worries. You can make the chart look however you want, but I wanted to explain why Excel is doing what it's doing. All right, this is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so that you get this and other great tutorials. 
Make sure you sign up for our RSS feed so you get them delivered right to your inbox. Thank you.